What's up, legendary bitch? You got a very special episode today. Got a legendary episode today. Very special guest, my boy D. Will, Darian Wilson for Caitlin Legend. I'm going to let you get your own intro. I don't want to miss nothing up on there. Nah, uh, Darian Wilson uh, for Brigade of Mississippi. I play basketball at Jack State now. All right. So tell us how you got started with sports and everything. Oh, uh, well, my dad was coaching at Brigade when I was first born. So I just always been around sports. He played baseball at Louisiana Tech. And so I just really didn't have a choice. I played flag football, basketball, t-ball, and all that. From the time I was probably two or three years old. Yeah. So I know in the high school, I just played football, basketball, baseball. Which one was your favorite? Uh, honestly, baseball was always my favorite sport. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I tore a couple ligaments in my shoulder my senior year. And so they kind of wiped out being able to play baseball. Yeah. Like, you know, the college level. But I, I mean, I obviously love basketball. I kind of loved all of them equally. But if I had to just pick one baseball, probably was my favorite. All right. So what, what's your major in here for? Uh, so I just graduated in May of 2020 with my undergrad degree in social science education. Okay. And I'm currently working on my master's in exercise physiology. Okay. So come back to Brookhaven. I know basketball, y'all, yeah, I think it was senior year. Mm -hmm. Butler became a coach, y'all. Uh, had a very good year that year. What was some of the highlights for you that year? Uh, my senior year highlight had to be starting off 18 and 0. Yeah. Um, one of the best starts in the school, the best start in school history. Uh, and I, I was just real close with all those guys. You know, me, yeah. Zoe, Sean, Denarius, Bebo, Marte, like all those guys, we were real close. Yeah. And so it kind of carried over to the course. It was a, it was a real fun year. Yeah. And then I'll say, during that, like, how did you manage? Because you're a very smart guy. I know football got splashed with awards. Pretty sure you got the best come too. So you mentioned school, you got a social life, you playing three sports, you switched in between seasons. How was that for you? Um, oh. Uh, Every, all of my coaches in high school actually were like, D me to pick one or two sports. Yeah. Like, keep picking one or two sports, but I didn't know which one or two to pick. Yeah. And so I just kept playing all of them, and it just worked itself out. So I, I honestly enjoyed it. I mean, at a school like Brookhaven, obviously football was a big sport yeah. at our school and in our town. So I obviously enjoyed that, being able to do Panther Walk on Friday nights and pep rallies and stuff like that. I enjoyed stuff like that. I mean, I was like I said, basketball, we had a great team. Um, and I was playing with my guys, like my friends and stuff. Like I said, I love baseball. And like that was a group of guys that I was real close with. We ended up winning this championship my senior year and stuff like that. Really overachieved when we were supposed to be my senior year. And so, I mean, juggling, like my mom made me juggle. Like yeah. school was always number one with her. Like it wasn't an option. Like it was times I got in trouble bringing home a beat. Yeah. So it was like, I had to stay on top of my school where I didn't really have a choice. But it worked out in the end, so I'm glad she was on like that. Yeah. So like when you was getting ready to go to Cole for the first time, what I is that your only offer you had multiple offers, I had, multiple sport offers? I had a lot of like D one low major offers and I had JUCOs. Yeah. And so the the couple of D one low major offers I had, the coaches got fired, they weren't really good teams either. And I knew because I had played three sports in high school and I never had all seats. Like you said, I just yeah. jumped from one sport to the next to the next. And so I knew that once I went to a college and was only playing one sport, I knew I was gonna be able to really dedicate my time in one sport. I was gonna be much better than I would. So I felt like junior college was the best route. Uh, so I think I had maybe four or five junior college offers. And so Colleen was close to home. Um, they actually had lost like 11 players the year before. Yeah. And so I knew it was gonna be a brand new team coming in. I knew everybody would be, you know, it wanted a lot of returns. So I knew I had a chance for a lot of playing time coming in. And so that was pretty, and I really had built a really good relationship with Coach Bizzard and Coach Reed that were calling at the time. And so that was pretty much how that decision worked out. All right, and then with your second year, Coley, I know y'all were real good, had a lot of good players there, Uzo, Debo, Biscuit, or AJ, yeah. and just y'all had a real good team. So it was something like your best memories with that. I think y'all second and third round? Yeah, we, we actually, we won, well we came, we were co-champs in the South Division yeah. uh, for Mississippi Juco uh, on that side. So we won 20 games. That was the most games the Colleen team had won since yeah. Coach Bizzai had been there. Um, we actually, we were really talented my freshman year, but we were young. Yeah. Like we had, I think we had 13 freshmen my freshman year. So we were young, we had a, lot, you know, a couple of selfish guys and the team just didn't mesh well. So we actually were really less talented my sophomore year, but the team meshed yeah. together uh, a little bit better. And like, like, it was just another thing where it was like, 
like you said, me, Biscuit, Bebo, and Zoe, we were like all in one room area. Yeah. And so we all we were together and they carried over to the court. And we brought in Miles Daniels that year, who played with me at Jackson State a year. Yeah. Uh, he was a great player. Debo was coming in from Brookhaven. I was a great senior year. Uh, we had Yuri White, who was all conference and stuff like that. He played at Louisiana Monroe when he left. I mean, AJ, we had a lot of local guys too. Yeah. And so we made more people from Brookhaven and the Western area come to the games. And so they made the games a lot more exciting. It really gave you like a high school feel again. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like four or five of y'all just like either from Brickhaven or Wisconsin. Right, I was the same. It was me, Zoe Debo from Brickhaven. The Norris was actually supposed to be on that team. Yeah. Um, but he yeah, up AJ was right there. AJ was from Wisconsin. Yeah. We had Ruggie from yeah. West Lincoln. Yeah, so y'all really so had, had five people. Yeah, five guys that was like from right there in the Brickhaven Colleen area. And so, like, it made it was a lot of fun. And so, like, that was, I think that might have been coach. The coaches there, that was their first winning season, actually. Yeah. So, that, that was big time. So how did you end up blending with everybody? Because I know everybody has some different playing styles. And to me, I kind of like how the way you evolved that you became like a way better shooter. Fact. Yeah. It's like I tell people this all the time. Like I didn't shoot threes in high school. Yeah. Because like I was kind of playing four or five, and I could always shoot. Yeah. I just went in a position to shoot a lot of threes, honestly. Yeah. And so toward my senior year, I kind of started shooting it real well, like just playing around. I was like, oh, I can shoot a little bit. I just yeah. had never been out there. I always had a good mid range shot. So like I told you, like once I knew once I had an off season to just work on just basketball, I knew I was gonna be able to become a better player. So that summer, when Colleen was out, you know, ten minutes down the road. Yeah. So that summer, I was really able to just get in the gym constantly. With you know, then I was able to get in the gym with Coach Reed. It was nice. Me and Zoe used to go down there all the time and shoot a thousand shots or whatever. Yeah. Be late at night, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, just in there shooting, and like it translated to the game. And so I really just like you said, I just kind of evolved. Like I just turned from a guy that was kind of a slasher played around the rim yeah. to a guy that was fighting up and being able to hit threes at a high level. But like you said, you was playing base in the post, but now you playing like right. a two or a three right. major in college. Right, and then we, like, ran a, we ran a dribble drive offense too at Coleman. Yeah. And I had, I was fortunate enough to have a really good guard, Missy yeah. Floyd, who nobody could stay in front of one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. So my man was always had help. Yeah. And so it gave me a lot of open shots. Yeah. And so uh, I just got in the gym and worked on knocking out open jumpers. And it translated to the game. And, it turned me into the player I am now. Yeah. I know a lot of players that might have coaches or this dads might not like that their dad, they coach good people like, but the coach your dad is why you doing this and doing that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he ain't out there making that shot for you. Right. You're doing it all yourself. But honestly, I never like not that I know of now, I don't know my yeah. might even say behind my back or anything. But the problem was never uh you only playing because your dad's the coach. Yeah. Like I don't think I don't think there was ever a problem or a question between my teammates or anything like that. Yeah. The biggest problem me and my dad had was he didn't want people to say that. Yeah. So he might not play me as much as I felt like I should have. Yeah. Or as much as other people thought he could have or whatever. Especially like my ninth and tenth grade year. And I really started maturing as a player and coming into my own. Like it was games where I might not even play. Or like even yeah. like I got telling somebody the other day, like my tenth grade year when I came back from football, yeah. like I was playing J V games. Like I didn't even play J V in ninth grade. Yeah. And so he put me on J V and stuff just I guess he just wanted me to earn it. Like, not, like it was JV games where I was going to get 20 points. Like, I've never been a 20 point scorer. Yeah. It was like, that was just too easy. Yeah. And like, he just didn't want anybody to say that he was playing because he was my son. So he made me earn every bit of it. But it made me who I am now. Like, it was frustrating at the time. And like, we kind of bickered and got into it about it. But now being older and looking back, it really molded me into who I am now. Yeah. So he kind of like pushed force up on you where you like, you want to play, you can, or you just want to do this, you can. I've always loved sports. Like that's always been my passion. Like growing up, like that's football, basketball, baseball. Like I just kept jumping from sport to sport. That's what I did all year. Like every career path I've ever thought about doing, it was something with sports. Like at one yeah. point I wanted to be like a sports catcher, like on ESPN or something. Yeah. Then I want to do physical therapy and I want to coach. You know what I'm saying? So it was like sports has always been my passion. Like even now, like being in Jackson State, I play basketball, but. I'm always at football games. I'm always at softball games, volleyball, baseball, tennis. Like I just love sports and being around. It wasn't forced upon me at all. Like it's just a passion of mine. Yeah. So I met you here at Jackson State. What are some of your best moments here? Man, some best moments at Jackson State. Like a thousand of them. Uh, biggest moment I have to be winning the SWAC championship, winning the SWAC regular season championship a couple weeks ago against Alabama State. Uh, actually, I had my career high that game too. And so, like, that was a big moment for me for sure. Uh, another big moment 
uh, probably the snakes at the three. Yeah. That went viral against Arkansas oh, yeah. Alabama. That whole, honestly, that whole run yeah. last year before Kobe hit. Like we won like a, I think we had one seven out of our last eight or nine games. Yeah. And like we were just rolling. Like we were rolling. And then to cap it off right there with being able to get snakes in the game, him having yeah. that moment, and we just kept rolling off the momentum. Yeah. And so that was that was a big moment. Um then having it shut down with Kobe, obviously last year, that was tough. Um and then like really just, you know, homecomings. Yeah. And going to the football games and just the atmosphere on campus, high spot stuff like that. It's, yeah. it's hard to pinpoint just one, but all those moments. Like I'm, I'm glad I chose to come to Jackson State for sure. Yeah. So what was like all your decisions coming out of Colleen? Coming out of Colleen, I had a lot of HBCUs and I had a lot of Division two schools, yeah. and I, I knew that was kind of my level. Like you know, a lot of guys yeah. kind of want to go for the biggest offer. Yeah. I knew what my talent level was going to let me be capable of. Where yeah. it was going to let me be capable of playing and being able to actually play. And so I actually came and sat down with Coach Brent. Um, I said, like, I sent him some film and then my coaches from Colleen sent some film. And so, it, crazy story, Coach Brent said this when we first